Well, Andy, lots of revelers out there have their eyeballs on tomorrow's forecast. So will the luck of the Irish be with them? A partial luck, I think, Sarah, uh, because it'll be dry, which is very important. A lot of sunshine, but breezy and cold. The good luck would have been if they would have had it today, right? Right. And, and they could have done that Irish tradition where they break out the patio furniture. Oh, you know? just a wee bit of the patio furniture. <laughs> I'll put a little jingle in your head for you that's going to bug you the rest of the night. We've got bargains and bargains and bargains and bargains and bargains <laughs> and bargains. And bargains. <laughs> I hope so, everyone in the newsroom is laughing at you. Uh, every, I hope. Everybody's going to be singing that one. Huh? <laughs> Take a look at the cloud cover tonight. We'll uh, get right to the <laughs> subject at hand, and that is a couple of showers to the north. They're trying to come south, and that will continue uh, to break apart as it does. There's a, just a slight chance of a passing shower. The front has been more active to the north and to the east of us all around that dome of warm weather. And behind it, it is cooling down. When you look at uh, Lake Superior, skies are clearing out, and we will see that happen first thing in the morning. We started this morning in the mid-40s. Our normal high is 44, so obviously this is well above normal today. And we we did get to 70 degrees in Lansing, 69 in Hastings and Jackson, well, well above normal, and we'll be probably a high near 40, 42 tomorrow, so a big temperature swing, there's no doubt. Currently, we're in the 50s, and we're just cooling down because it's nighttime. We haven't turned the winds to the west or northwest yet, and they're going to be stronger out of the north the first half of the day tomorrow, so that will bring in the air you see there, 35 at the Sioux, 34 at Marquette, already 43 as you get south of Traverse City. So the cooler weather will filter in, and it will reach our coldest readings around sunrise, 8 or 9 a.m. even. We could drop a degree or two before we go back to the low 40s. So the warm weather is slipping south. It was near 90 degrees in the low 90s in Nebraska today, so there's been a big dome of warm weather out there, and you can see almost how it's carved out. That will sink southward, and the uh, cooler weather will filter slowly southward. They'll never see the chill, but that we'll see. But certainly the heat's not going to be close enough for us to tap into it. And it's very clear up in Canada, so it's more dry air for us, a uh, fairly dry week ahead of us. The forecast model shows that front coming down the state here tonight. Just a slight chance of a shower, and then during the morning hours we break into sunshine. However, it's going to be a very breezy day. North winds become northwest in the afternoon. Could have a couple of stray high clouds, that's about it. High pressure means that we will not see any precipitation. Our Wednesday starts below freezing, which is really normal this time of year, and then we'll get back up only to about 42 degrees. The system you see on the left-hand side of your screen, the rain and snow showers, it's a little bit of push of some warmer air from the west coast, and it'll get here on Friday maybe producing a shower late in the day. Uh, it gives us one more day of trying to get back closer to 50 on Friday before the second surge of cold weather comes in this weekend. You can see the blue areas just to the north of us, and the core of the cold air is going to be centered right over central Canada for the next 10 days. And so far, it looks like it's not going to make it right on top of us, but we will cool down this week, and then the weekend gets chillier yet with uh, some temperatures in the 30s. We'll eventually hit 33, but that's more towards sunrise. It's going to get windy, too, by then, and there's still a slight chance of a shower. Our 1-800 Hanson's weather kid, well, that's Adriella from Lansing. High tomorrow, only 42, so it's only a couple degrees below normal, but it's a lot below the normal of 70 degrees, or the high we had of 70 degrees today. You look for a lot of sunshine, but it will be breezy, so it even will take away from that temperature. And really no difference there on Wednesday. Thursday will be partly sunny and 44. We get that Pacific air in to cloud us up Friday, maybe a shower overnight, a couple of snow showers Saturday, no big deal there. And then look at Sunday, back down to 35 degrees, 40 degrees on Monday. So the cooler weather is in here. It looks like Sarah Poppy's going to finish out the month of March. I wish I could tell you the 70 was coming back anytime soon, but we just got a little tease. That was it.